Hello everyone, this is Logan, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the RCA 5-disc changer slash cassette player slash AM FM radio slash auxiliary thing slash thing that can pretty much make your breakfast. So yeah, I haven't done a video like this in a while, mainly because I've been doing other things. Um, mainly, as of right now, uh, mostly app reviews. But I do sometimes like to go back to my roots and do the kind of video that made me popular in the first place, which is these small little electronics like, you know, cassette players and VCRs that people seem to enjoy. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this thing. Um, as in a design standpoint, this is not the most attractive thing in the world, but at the same time, uh, you know, I don't think it's really going to be. It's not, you know, the most premium device in the world. I don't know how much these things cost back in the day. I got it for free off a friend of my mom's, but whatever. It's still a really nice thing. And the speakers that you see on each side that are, you know, detachable and replaceable, might I add, these speakers are actually pretty good. Um, I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But first, let's power it on. One, two, three. Power on. Hmm, double homage. Right, so let's go to CD. That's the first thing I'll demonstrate. And if we go here, you'll see the CDs. Uh, we have the... Oh, what is that? That is Johnny Cash, uh, the One Album some Beatles album, some Eagles album, and the Led Zeppelin 1 album. Just to kind of give you a taste of my music, even though it's probably been painfully aware throughout the majority of my channel. So, let's play. Alright, so here we have the Eagles. And something that's kind of interesting about this thing, you can hear it playing, is if we open the thing, you'll hear it's still playing. That's because I can actually, you know, swap out the uh, disc changer. Like, for example, let's say I don't want the One Album, which, you know, why would you not want the One Album? It's the greatest thing associated with the Beatles. Is you can actually swap it out while the Eagles are still playing. So, that is really nice. Let's pull that back in, pause that, and then move on to the other copyright infringing uh, feature, which is the AM radio, which is something I will not actually demonstrate because in my area there are no good AM stations and even fewer the things thing will actually pick up. But I will demonstrate FM, which is this button. Yes. Heard this song before. So, yeah, as you can hear, it works pretty well. And this doesn't even use a proper aerial. This actually uses a corded uh, antenna. So, I can pick up uh, 96.1. They broadcast about a half hour from here. Oh, this is um, Mr. Mister. That's right. So, yeah, enough of that. Let's move on to tape. We have this, which is Queen. Actually, I'm going to swap it out because, if I recall, that cassette doesn't really work too well. Let's listen to Oasis. Because who doesn't like Oasis? Please say everyone. Or please say nobody. Yeah, as you can hear, it works really well. You can even rewind. You can fast forward. You can pause. Or you can stop. Why is there a pause and a stop? I don't know. It's just something weird that tapes have. 
So, last but not least is the one feature I won't be showing you because it's the least important, auxiliary. If you want to know what that sounds like, just picture the CD, but exactly the same. And that is my review of that. So, if you can find this or a similar machine out in the wild because this uh, design has been copied by pretty much every company in the known universe, I really recommend it. Um, again, it didn't really cost me a whole lot, and it shouldn't cost you a whole lot if you can find one of these out in the wild, whether it be brand new or even, you know, pre-owned at a yard sale or something like that. So, without further ado, bye.